So one thing that the crossover, one thing that the crossover can be used for that it is unfortunately not used that much for is as a high pass filter. Now I think uh, most everybody has seen. Uh, let's see if we can pan down here and take a look at the. Um, <clears throat> So we can take a look at the EQ sitting down here. There we go. Okay, this EQ, this is just your regular DBX EQ. And on it, uh, let's see if we can focus that. No, maybe not. Can't even get in too tight on it. All right. Well, on this EQ sitting here, this is a low cut. This is a low cut or a high pass filter right here. It's a low cut at 40 hertz which means that if I push this in, anything from 40 hertz and on down is not being produced, which is perfect. But also, some, some EQs don't have this function on it. And so what a lot of times you'll see are uh, people here running their lower frequency levels down. There we go, I think this will look a little bit better. So what's happening is that I've seen people running their their frequencies down, trying to control the low the low end on some speakers, especially if the speakers cannot handle uh, frequencies. Let's say, for example, here anything below let's say 60 hertz, maybe anything below 50 hertz, they're cutting it down. This is fine. This is something, but this does not really help as a low cut filter would. So if you're one of those people that have an EQ that does not have a low cut filter and you're doing this, okay, this, is, this may work for you, but the problem is you still have these frequencies coming through. All these frequencies here, especially on, the, on maybe on the higher end, not on the, I'm sorry, not on the higher end, but on the smaller cabinets, they can only handle down to 60 hertz and you've got to be able to cut from 50, you know, 40, 31.5. Said so the problem with this is that the frequencies are still there, they're just a little bit quieter. But still, somebody drops a mic, or if something happens on stage, it causes a tremendous amount of rumble, these frequencies are still getting through. So what we can do is we can use a crossover to, to act as our high-pass filter. But the good thing about it, using a crossover, is that the high-pass filter part of it, it becomes a variable high pass filter because we can adjust we can adjust what frequency that we want to start the high passing at okay so how do we use how do we use the crossover as I as a variable high pass filter well it's pretty easy so what we're gonna do here let's just zero everything out and we're gonna set this up uh, just to be a a variable high pass filter for a small speaker. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, first thing we're gonna do here is let's remove the subwoofer from the mix because we, we don't need that. So the only thing left in here, the only thing left is going to be this mid and high output, but this is actually gonna run full range. We're gonna run a we're gonna run a small full range speaker with this and because we don't need a subwoofer, we're going to remove the subwoofer input. So now all we have left is the mid and high. This is what came out of the crossover. And this speaker cable here, it's now going to go to a uh, small 12-inch uh, full range speaker. Okay, so here is the back. This is of a, a Yamaha. This is a C112, C112. The V speaker. It's a full range. It's a 12 inch and we're just going to connect it into there and uh, we're going to run this speaker as a full range speaker, not as a bi -amp speaker, but full range. And we're going to set the, um, we're going to set the crossover to work as a variable high pass filter for it so that uh, we can protect the base speaker. Okay, we're back at the crossover now. So we've got that one speaker hooked up, just a small, uh, 12 inch speaker. Let's see. And that's it right here. Got the speaker right here. So what we're going to do is we've got the music playing. So let's go back, set our levels as a place to start. Now remember, we don't need the low anymore. That's not going to be of any value to us, but we do need 
We do need the mids and highs. Okay, and I need to keep it down some just because the speaker's sitting right next to us. Okay, and then what we're going to do is you can tell over here, well, so the shadow's in the way. So, right now we're only allowing about 60 hertz, about 60 hertz, and on up to pass through. There we go. It's about 60 hertz to pass through. Okay, so right there, what we've done is, because our, because our EQ, let's just say our EQ did not have, let's see, because our EQ, let's just say the EQ doesn't have a low cut filter on it, we can set up our own high pass filter for it. And any time that we do a show, where it's either uh, just something as simple as background music or we've got a small band playing or something, they don't need anything big, it's still important to have safety features in place just to uh, protect the system, just to protect the system from a drop mic or a big heavy stage rumbling. You know, if I wanted to protect it more, I mean, I could turn it up. You know, there it is at 100 hertz. But then it can start sounding a little too, uh, not very much in depth, I'll say that. So we'll add a little bit more bass to it. So this is how you can use a crossover as a variable high pass filter. See, we're not using a low at all. 